All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Relative UCL with Knott's County. Uh, it's been a while. Um, we're just going to go over some results here. As you can see uh, on the table, the league table, we are in second place. Five points behind Cardiff City with one game in hand. Um, we're only two points above Crew in third place and three points above Burton and Charlton in fourth and fifth. So it's still pretty tight. We got about uh, 18 games left in the season, I believe. Let's, uh, let's look at our past results here. So I think the last game we played was against Morkan, right here. As you know, we lost against Cardiff in that episode. We beat Morkan. Then we went on a little run here, um, undefeated run, which ended against Ipswich. Um, going to I'm going to pull up this match so you guys can see the expected goals. It's kind of a, a theme here. We had 0.54 expected goals. Is Ipswich won the game with just 0.2 expected goals. So kind of a low key affair. Not much happened. We lost. Very unfortunate. Then we went on another invicted, uh, undefeated run here. Then we lost against Sunderland, um, and that's been our only two losses. We we've done pretty well. Um, last game again, we played against More Cam again. Today we're playing against Cardiff. So let's go ahead and talk about the squad for a second. Not much has changed. The only um, thing to note is Joe Hugel had his loan terminated by Norwich. Uh, I guess they thought I wasn't playing him enough. So Jared Boabo is back in the first team. Um, he's not really great. We we should be looking into uh, getting another striker in before the transfer window closes. Uh, Ty Barnett is also now within the first team. He's also playing most of his games with the U23s, but uh, just that first team training experience is vital. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make some subs here because we have some really tired players. Alright, Kirk is out for Andre Wisdom. Van Doak. A lot of my players need rests, as you can see here, but we're gonna we're gonna make them play today's match because we need them. We need them to to do a do a job against Cardiff City, first place in the league. And um, I think that'll do it. You know, there are some tired players here. The schedule is not beneficial um, for their well-being. So many games in a in a week repeatedly. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to the match. All right, let's do it. Let's make sure we got this uh, key highlights, yes. Okay, everything else is good. Yeah, losing within the first minute of the game. That's what we do. All right, Cardiff attacking again. Wisdom clears.
so far we've not done um, almost anything 0 0.05 I expect to go over that's really poor uh, let's see wow so many tired players out there Alright, so not much of anything has happened so far in this first half. We are down 1-0. Um, does that one goal in the first minute is, uh, is the deciding goal? Wisdom to Jonas, Jonas to Walsh. Walsh looking for Langstaff. Langstaff one on one with the goalkeeper. What can he do here? Langstaff scores. All right. And just like that, within um, within four minutes of the second half starting, we have our goal. Let's go, Langstaff. Walsh here, the advanced playmaker. A long pass. Langstaff gets him. The end of it. Browns the keeper, slots it in. Yes. Right, we are going to make a sub here in the 60th minute because we have a lot of tired players. Actually, we should probably make it right now. Just made an assist. Ola Sunday should have come out though. Wired is also tired. Ah, uh, Bajrami. <sighs> yeah. Luke Jonas, the right back. I really don't have a set for him. Looks like he'll have to stay home. This is going to be a test for Bajrami. Uh, he is the club captain. Uh, however, personally, I think his level is not there to be a consistent League One player. But um, you know, due to the fixture congestion, rotation is ne a necessity right now. So we need we need Bajrami to not do anything rash. Quiet second half so far, besides the goal, not much else. We're tied on expected goals. Um, yep, not a lot happening right now. Some more subs because Cardiff are. Cardiff has some fresh legs on the field, and uh, we need to do the same. Right, we need Sam Matthews to come up big for us. Lee Jonas must be very tired right now. 
And he's on a yellow card. Um, I didn't do that. Send back. Yeah, Ruffin. All right. And that'll do it for the substitutions by Sedich. He's going to end up very tired in this game. Um, while we're at it, we should probably do a little shout. Uh, focus, pressure, demand more, praise. Let's do focus. There's only 10 minutes left in this game. We've earned our way back into the game. We're beating Cardiff on expected goals. 11 shots, but only one on target. That's concerning. 85th minute now. Looks like this one's gonna end 1-1. One, one. Cardiff attacking though. On our left side, switches it. Wisdom playing as right back clears, but Cardiff still trying to attack. They go back. Now they're on they're right on top of the box. Stephenson scores, hits, hits the upright. Um, wow. Cardiff still attacking, they still want more. And highlights over. Three minutes extra time, this game is going to end 1-1. A decent result, I guess. You know, Cardiff City are in first place for a reason. But, um... We were able to tie it up by Sedich, 6.4, that's not good. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to be a little tough on them. McCauley, you're distant. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. He did score the equalizer, though, so it's not fair for him. But you know, we could have done better in this game for sure. I mean, conceding in the first minute is always a sign of always a sign that things could be better. All right, so that is that. Uh, let's take care of some of these inbox items. Folio is gonna get a pay increase, and yeah, all these players need rests for sure. Our next game is in four days against Peterborough, so uh, let's go ahead and fast forward to that game. All right, and here we go for the uh, game against Peterborough. I'm a lot of tired legs out there, so what I'm going to do is first start with my first team that I've established and uh, work off of that. So, like Liam Walsh. I want to give Ty Barnett a chance. Why not? Ty Barn is going to be a starter today. Sam Matthews, who would normally be in that position, he is not improving at all. I mean, he's 27, so he's not really supposed to be, but he's becoming a worse player. At the same time, though, some of these uh, stats really don't matter for his position, like marking, uh, tackling, positioning, they're all going down, but he's an advanced playmaker, so <clears throat> maybe it's not that bad. But uh, Ty Barnett here, I do want to give him a chance to see what he can do. So yeah. All right, next, um, Ben Doyle can play a game. Francis Vincent on the bench. Francis, uh, Francis Vincent still on just a, a non-contract. Our only part-time or non-contract player. Lane staff is tired, but we don't have another striker. Buabo, I don't keep, I, th I don't think he's ready for a step up, but he will be on the bench. Yeah, we're gonna take a Liam O'Neill. Um, we're gonna take Francis, Francis Vincent now. Put what's wrong? With him. Okay, so this is the team we're going with. Let's do this. <clears throat> so Peterborough, um, 
I don't think it should be a challenge. We are doing pretty well in this league. Um, as you know, our previous game was against the first place team, Cardiff, who not that long ago were in the Premier League. So they definitely have a lot of resources. Game has started. We haven't conceded in the first minute, so it's already an improvement on the last game. Pierre though, with a free kick here. Going for the long range free kick, and it skims off the netting. That was pretty close. So far, it's been all Peterborough these first uh, 15 minutes or so. Now we have a free kick, a little closer than theirs. Rohan with his left foot. Oh my goodness, Sean Rohan scores a, a wonderful goal off a free kick. Goal Asso. Commentators are loving it. What a strike. No, that's, that's, how you, that's how you kick a soccer ball. to Rochum, switches it to Kirk, their center back, who's on the left wing right now. How did that happen? Vernon, all of Sunday to Barnett, Doak, oh, all right, so, so far so good here in first half of this first half, we're winning 1-0. Besides that goal, not much um, coming through here. Rohan, can you score another free kick? It's almost the same position. And he does. <laughs> wow. Uh, Sean Rohan scores two free kicks in the first half of this game. It was indeed a similar position. And what a goal. What a strike. That's our left back, by the way. I left back Sean Howard Stone. Good for him, and now 2 0 up. We are coasting. You know, um, our, our two goals coming from set pieces, it doesn't really, I guess, complement our play. Sean Rohan can be good. <laughs> Can he have a free kick uh, hat trick? And he almost did. What a save by the keeper. Um, but but anyway, having the two goals coming from set pieces, um, I'd rather have our goals come from open play. But I mean, I'll take two free kick goals any day, no problem. So even though our, we didn't score in open play, I still want to praise the players. Starting some substitutions here. Um, Langstaff really has a new right there, does he? We're going to put Boa more. We're 2 0 up. I don't think we can uh, borrow this. Let's run and get some game time. And Ashley Hunter. <clears throat> Okay, wait, wait, what happened? 
I was playing Ashley Hunter in front of him anyway. And then Lang stack for Boabo. Is that right? Okay. Um, hmm. That was weird. All right, we're gonna do another one here, another substitution. Pretty soon. Get our tired players out there, put some fresh legs on. Yeah, bro, just passing the ball around, looking like Barcelona. We can't get anywhere near it. They lose for four. My goalkeeper is just standing still. Let's see, where, okay, our center backs are right here, Kirk and Wisdom. My right back, Jonas, right there. At this point, I feel like Kirk should be the one going for the ball. Let's see what happens. Wow. Kirk kind of just stopped running. Uh, that was weird. Why would he do that? I don't think a professional player would stop running right there. No substitutions left, so let's just hope that no no more injuries. Burnham got injured. We gotta check on that because um, he is our starting left winger. However, Do Ben Doak can definitely be our new start starting left winger if uh, Burnham is out for a while. Poku, cool. Brad Young with the save, but. Peter Burrow's attack that was offside. Exactly. Right, here we go. Peter Burrow trying to put something together. We have our second string uh, sort of defense midfield right now. And uh, Boabo, it has to be noted, Boabo has been very ineffective since coming on. Barney loses the ball. Although Sunday loses the ball. Alright, now Pierre are attacking on the right side and wow strikes against the post. That should have been a goal. By Savage clears. We got lucky there. In truth, we've been lucky this whole game because we've only scored off of free kicks. I mean that's great and everything, but I mean, it's not like we're going to score two free kicks every game. Um, we need to focus on open play goals. So in that aspect, it's not been a great game. But a win is a win. Sean Rochen, uh could have had a hat trick of free kicks. But just the two free kick goals for him. Closing in the last moments of this game. Rothen would be the last player to touch the ball. Oh, Wisdom is, but it's full time. 2 0. Sorry, Pierre Burrow. Um, uh, I don't want to be too negative. We're going to go ahead and praise him. Sean Rothen, man of the match, two free kick goals. Preposterous. And see, after the tie with Cardiff, uh, Crew and us are level on points. We're, we're only ahead of them by one. Uh, and the goal difference. Wow. We can both jump Cardiff if we win the game in hand we have. It's crazy. Anything can still happen in this league. 16 games remaining. Alright, so now um, on the question of when will we come back for the next episode.
episode. It, it'll be towards the end of the season. Um, probably an opponent match. Like, let's say... Let's just do the last two. Ipswich and Shrewsbury. Um, Ipswich... 10 points behind us. Shrewsbury... Where are they? They're mid-table. So not... Not direct rivals, but um, it is the end of the season. It should be interesting no matter what. And I, did my game just freeze on me? Okay, that was weird. Okay, Burnham, oh no, three to four weeks. Fractured wrist. That's gonna suck. Oh, damn. Jimmy Gower on loan, making some improvements in his game. It's good to see. He will be 21 this year though, so that ceiling is coming. <clears throat> Sean Rahman, 21 year old fullback, two free kick goals in one game. You know, with eight free kick taking and 10 technique, what more can you expect? Obviously. All right, so yeah, that'll do it. We're gonna be back for the Ip switch game and um shrewsbury see you guys there take care peace